G'day, Brian here, talking about trading using limit orders and using bosun lines and the trading range. First of all, before we start, we should always look at the, and we're only talking about the Australian dollar, US dollar, but the same principle can be applied to other currencies. The Australian dollar, in my opinion, is a very good one to trade as a single currency and trade knowing that the local knowledge says that the Australian dollar, US dollar uh, is likely to go up even higher to maybe 110 over the next 12 months. So we're looking at some favourable conditions in our favour. I always look at the monthly and here you can see the uh, square the highest highs and it, until it crosses the 61.8 on the Fibonacci I think it's still a long trade so we're trading long obviously if you had entered in on the 23 um, 23.6 and traded it long all the way up then you would be making lots and lots of money so the monthly is always an indication of where you can start and where you want to head for. We're trading what I call rebound trading using the trading range and bosun's lines and putting on limit orders. These are the current limit orders on and it's Sunday and we're looking at the change in those limit orders during the week. So to give you an example that the bosun's, uh, the bosun's line is 107.20 and look at the tra uh, daily trading range it is increasing from 127 to 162 pips so we want to look at our first one is bosun's lines so what I would suggest is that after Monday on the opening, we see what's happening in the market. We can look at the bosun's line U will be up. It'll be a ladder climbing up the bosun's lines. We can look at looking at putting on a limit order now even and changing the first one to a figure uh, of 1070. I think that one's hit it. And the date here, well, well, well it's, it's okay. We can let it keep going. Modify. We can't do it now because the market's closed. But I just wanted to show you that on Monday, we would look at something like this depending on the trading range and the volatility. We would alter our points from 1070, 106378. Maybe we could just change that there, 106378. We'll see it go on Monday. The second point down would be 10560. We have an old uh, figure here, 104480. So we could, in theory, depending on Monday, change these position average orders. I put on three. I usually start off one on the, the bosun's line, using the nearest pip to the average trading range. It is expanding trading range, therefore, in, in its going up trend overall on the monthly we probably look at the first one here as an indication close to the rollover this one as a second and this one as a third just as a, a rough guide but we look at the trading range where the price is in regard to the trading range and where the nearest bosun points of support and resistance are away. I like to trade down, taking that the trading range market could go down 162 pips. 
and as you can see the nearest point there is about there or here depending on Monday that's the way I go I look always at Brian's index and generally this is for scalping okay bye for now from Brian